What's up everybody, it's Conger Live and we're back again with another TMNT Mutant Madness video. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at the requirements for the Sewer Shadow event, Hero Economy event coming. This is your chance to get a 5 star Ninja Splinter if you're first place. Now that's a very difficult thing to do, so unless you're spending or saving like crazy, even then you just never know who you're going to be up against in these events. So let's take a look at that. So in the Sewer Shadow event, you're going to collect and use hero bits to earn points for miles down rewards and to climb the leaderboard for rank rewards with first place in a star, five star version of the newest hero, Ninja Splinter. You got a cool little icon there. This begins on June 9th and ends on June 23rd at 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which is 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time and 6 p.m. Universal Time. To access this event, you will require completing Adventure 13-1. So if you're new to the game, you're gonna have to play for at least 10 to 12 days, I think, to get to about 13-1. Uh, I've been playing an alternate account just to get that experience. Um, but you're able to progress fairly quickly if you spend enough time coming back to the game a couple times a day um, to progress pretty quickly. And as long as you're investing, of course, in Scrap Collector. I was able to uh, get a response from Marshall when I was looking at Splinter's kit. Um, the text referring to himself to get the bonus damage. So I asked a question uh, about this, not Splinter, is if you saw my video this means not himself not ninja splinter so if it's other splinters in your party that will still trigger so when it says not splinter he's it's talking about himself which is most the case in uh kits when you see not sometimes they're mentioned um they mention themselves or they do mention themselves like specifically themselves um in kits so i want to be clear so that does mean ninja splinter number two um was the question about split shot whether the over three hits hits uh, the same target multiple times. It says target up to three enemies. And he says, yes, multi-skill targets can hit the same target twice unless they spe specify that they only hit different targets. They can do sometimes even, if there are enough targets available, you can still sometimes hit the same person twice. So effects applied per hit can be stacked multiple times on the target. So this mega 20 alertness for 15 seconds would stack if it hit the same person all three times to negative 60 alertness, or if it hit one person twice and another once, negative 40 and another 20. So that's pretty cool. And then the extra damage per hit at targets at range, that is per hit with three hits, so that does, that should happen three times. Um, pretty exciting there. Um, the area of question with the range of the smoke screen it says target three different allies at range five, and all allies at range one of them give. 24 defense and plus 60 haste and target all enemies in that area so that area of the enemies meant the same range of one from the three targets so basically he says yeah it's one of the three initial targets picking throws three smoke bombs and everything within range one of at least one of them is effective all right so those are some clarifications on ninja splitter's kit sounds super cool um Definitely uh, gonna do my best to unlock him at least at three stars. Of course, I'm gonna shoot for four. If I'm lucky enough to not have a whale competing with me, maybe I'll get first. I've always had someone in there willing to spend a little bit more than what I'm spending, which is basically nothing, other than the to the pass, um, to, to get that top spot. So um, I think third is my best score so far. Um, but been able to get four star heroes so far, so really shooting for that on New Splinter. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to ninja kick that like button and subscribe for more TMNT Mutant Madness content. Thanks again for watching. Let's game smarter.